Hello, Camels, and welcome to our last show of the semester. I'm Joshua Davis. And I'm Abby DeBoer. This is Campbell Now. Free COVID tests are available for Campbell students this weekend as we prepare to go home for Thanksgiving. The test will be administered on the second floor of the new student union. Check your student email for details. Again, this test is free. We're also happy to report that by all appearances, we will finish our final few days of instruction on campus. With the exception of a two week pause, our community has made it the entire semester without a serious outbreak of COVID cases. Of course, the numbers of infections and deaths continue to grow exponentially across the country, especially in rural areas of the Midwest. The university and public health officials urge everyone to be safe while you're home for the holidays. We did receive some good news this week regarding COVID treatment. Two companies say they've created vaccines that appear to be 95% effective. In the next few days, they are expected to ask the federal government for permission to distribute the drugs as soon as next month. No decision has been announced yet regarding who will get the vaccine first. Many experts speculate that healthcare workers will be the first to receive the vaccine, followed by high-risk groups and essential workers. The vaccines are expected to be available to everyone by April or May. With Thanksgiving approaching, many have wondered what will happen with the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Like many other public events, the parade will be virtual. The good news is that the presentation will be available at its regular time on Thanksgiving Day at 9 a.m. until 12 noon. Numerous musical and theatrical performances, including the Rockettes, are scheduled to perform. Peru's new president, Francisco Sagasti, was sworn into office yesterday amid deadly protests in which there were two casualties. For years, the majority of Peruvians have not trusted the government, but they hope Sagasti will be able to repair the damages made by former government officials. Sagasti is the fourth president Peru has had since 2016. At one point, Peru had no president for a full day. A hotel in Durham called Unscripted has placed six igloos on top of its roof to accommodate outdoor dining while maintaining social distancing. Each igloo can safely seat up to 10 guests while keeping them all safe and warm. Staff will have 30 minutes to sanitize the igloos before the next group arrival. Guests can reserve the igloos from now until March of 2021. Finally, the Dueling Dinosaurs exhibit will be at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences in 2022, according to an announcement made earlier this week. The exhibit will feature both a triceratops and a complete T-Rex skeleton that were found buried overlapping each other in Hell Creek, Montana. The dinosaurs are believed to have died in a battle that took place about 67 million years ago. Researchers believe the T-Rex skeleton is the only 100% complete T-Rex fossil in existence. Due to its small size, it is believed the T-Rex was not fully grown. This discovery includes two articulated skeletons, which means they were preserved in their proper bone order. One articulated skeleton is rare to find, but in this case, two were found in one fossil. That's all for today. I'm Abby DeBoer. And I'm Joshua Davis. Happy Thanksgiving, Camels, and see you next semester. And this has been Campbell Now.